What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video review today. I am super stoked to be doing this video review because right behind me we have a 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Limited S package and this uh, this vehicle is absolutely clean, very luxurious and just uh, the black on black packages, the interior, everything about it is just so impressive and if you're in the market looking to, uh, to buy a minivan, uh, well, this is a, the Pacifica is the perfect one to be looking at because honestly for the price range and for what you get It's just absolutely bang for buck and uh, in my opinion, it's up there with one of the best and uh, So I'm excited to do this video review We're gonna go through the entire interior and exterior of this vehicle Go through all the features and give you guys an amazing look at what the vehicle is and all the options and everything inside it That way if you're in the market looking to buy one or if you're looking in the market just for something similar Then you can get a lot of information about this vehicle and I'll leave more in the description below and uh, if you want to check it out on our website please feel free to at foundationnorthvan.com and uh, well let's get this video started guys let's get this video officially started we are now inside of the cabin of this 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Limited S and uh, I want to just get started with saying the feeling I get when I'm in this vehicle is just complete luxury and just comfort uh, I just love the way that Chrysler has built the interior here especially from the driver's uh, perspective very nice leather steering wheel very thick um, just adds a little more luxury to the the feeling of the steering wheel. I, I really do um, like the thicker steering wheels, and I, I spoke about that in a Durango RT video that I did a review on. And uh, yeah, just a big fan of it. We got the white stitching just within the uh, the leather here, and you'll see that theme throughout the entire cabin, uh, throughout the leather and um, basic controls on the uh, steering wheel. We got all our uh, cruise control settings here um, and our controls for the cluster just right here. Our voice and uh, and phone call options right here, all surrounded with a beautiful like high gloss uh, black material, uh, kind of flowing throughout the steering wheel. Our beautiful Chrysler logo right here in chrome. And uh, the controls for our volume and uh, the uh, like skipping to the next song or changing the uh, channel are just uh, on the left side and your volumes on the right side, pretty straightforward. We've got our uh, indicator right here, as well as the uh, high beam option. And then uh, we've got our windshield wiper, uh, rear and front, uh, all just right here. Pretty simple, straightforward, like every other vehicle. We've got the uh, digital cluster right in front of us there with the uh, the uh, speed and the rev limiters on each side, uh, our RPM, sorry. Um, very classy, I love the uh, blue illuminated lighting. Hopefully you guys can uh, see it there on the camera. Uh, I love the blue illuminated lighting just throughout the uh, inside of the uh, cluster here. And I, I actually am curious to know if uh, you can adjust those uh, uh, colors on the uh, on the app section there um, but nevertheless beautiful displays your speedometer your tire pressures all that information about the vehicle and then we've got this like aluminum brushed material uh, kind of within the uh, outside of the cluster and then the dash over here um, ending kind of over here and then followed by that high gloss black just surrounding this 10.1 inch uh, touchscreen which honestly is uh, it's placed so perfectly in my opinion just kind of nested right in there into the uh, into the center here and um, honestly looks very clean very flush we got our uh, air vents just beside it on both sides nice quality not too cheap and easy to to flick up and down um, we've got our headlight and tail light display um, or um, headlight and tail light uh, uh, buttons right here uh, right now I've got the uh, the lights on uh, you can leave them on auto and they'll adjust to the uh, the daylight and the night obviously uh, we've got our cabin controls here for the lighting as well uh, our door door panel here we got our uh, memory seat um, buttons right here so you can set the uh, seat to certain uh, uh, preferences so that it remembers it and then uh, every time you get in the car if someone alters your seat you just touch the button and then uh, take you right back we've got the uh, the controls right here for the the mirrors side mirrors on both sides uh, you can press the middle one here and it folds them in just like that very nice and simple I like that a lot 
uh, having that as an option in a vehicle it's nice just you know when you park in tighter spots or even if you just want to be safe close them up and uh, have a little more assurance you can open up the window just by one touch not too bad not too bad one touch all the way back up same throughout the uh, the rest of the vehicle and then obviously our lock and unlock um, plastic chrome uh, door handle here it actually kind of feels like metal actually I take that back it does feel a little bit like metal uh, unless it's just cold you can't really tell uh, we've got Harmony Kardon throughout this entire uh, vehicle and uh, honestly I'm a big uh, music head big speaker guy and the Harmony Kardon sound system in here it bangs it's absolutely beautiful I'm a very big fan of it very similar to like a, a Grand Cherokee uh, L uh, sound system with the Macintosh I really like it um, and um, yeah you, you can't go wrong with having a beautiful luxurious vehicle like this um, you know, having that sound system just adds a little more to the experience and to the environment uh, while you're uh, enjoying this amazing ride. Uh, so we got our door, d more options here in the door panel for storage and uh, bottles, cups, whatever it may be. Um, before we get outside, let's just focus onto the center console here. Just uh, I really love how simple and <clears throat> luxurious it, it, it looks. Um, it's it they didn't try and do too much they didn't try and have screens sticking out and big whatever like plasma screens in the car like they stuck with the 10 inch touch screen which in my opinion is absolutely perfect uh and displayed this way i think it looks great and then just followed with that high gloss down here with your uh, climate buttons your uh, parking and lane assist options your volume controls which are just really done well in this like matte uh plastic material and just get a little taste of this absolutely gorgeous this sound system bangs it suits the vibe of this pacifica so well and uh i'm really stoked to be doing a review on this pacifica um i really wanted to do a review on uh, a minivan and yeah i'm super stoked to be doing a review on this uh this pacifica I, I think it's such a well put together uh minivan and uh the limited s package is honestly just uh it's perfect it, uh, i love the black on blacks and then all the rest of uh the luxury inside of the interior and we'll continue to flow through that because there's so much to talk about and go through um I, I really am impressed with this uh this vehicle it's uh it's it's up there in terms of an 8 out of 10 9 out of 10 rating like i even driving it on the road and i know i'm getting carried away right now from the center part here but driving this on the road it felt very comfortable very luxurious uh, the suspension ride is just absolutely perfect you don't feel much on the road you kind of feel like you're just floating above the ground and uh well it, the entire environment the comfortability of the seats and the steering wheel the sound system this beautiful center console it just kind of all adds to the vibe We've got a full panoramic sunroof and uh, i'm getting carried away right now so we should just continue to uh focus on this and then we'll uh we'll keep going each uh section by section here but yeah 10 inch uh touch screen right here very easy to navigate and control uh you got your media options right here uh pretty straightforward and standard is all uh you know a lot of the uh, chrysler vehicles right now our comfort uh settings nav phone um vehicle settings you got the fam cam in this in this vehicle so you can see the entire inside of this cabin and if you want to focus on a specific spot you can just touch it like that and it'll bring you right there which i think is absolutely cool uh we got our surround 360 camera very clear one thing i'm very impressed with on this uh, pacifica is the rear view the reverse camera is absolutely beautiful very rich colors very clear uh, i'm assuming it's 4k because it looks pretty much like it um and over here we can control more of the angles of the camera that's the front of the camera right there look just absolutely beautiful uh exposing the the sky really well as well as keeping everything else bright around it which is absolutely great um and yeah pretty straightforward we'll exit out of this uh, I can fold the headrests in here. We got our apps here. This is probably where you can control the colors and the lighting in the vehicle, other and uh, other uh, stuff like that. We do have uh, heated and ventilated seats on the in the in the front here, um, which is absolutely awesome. And like I said, the heated steering wheel. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the center here. The dial for the uh, the control to change uh, the vehicle modes. We got reverse right there, neutral drive and we'll just go right back to park we got the parking brake just right here you just click like that puts the parking brake on now it's turned off moving on into the the middle cubby here we've got our blu-ray disc um uh, uh 
insert here where you can put the disc. Uh, we got two 10 inch screens behind the uh, driver and passenger seat, uh, which we'll get to. Um, and then we also have a USB and USB-C port plug in down here and then two more USB and USB-C ports down here with an auxiliary plug in, a little bit of storage and then a wireless phone charger just right there. You can fit a nice phone in there just like that. Boom, charged up. We got, uh, the other thing I really like about this center console is how everything can kind of close and uh, hide itself. So if you just push this like that, it actually just will bring everything and close it. You won't even see anything that's under there. You can keep your phone, everything hidden. And you got a nice little sleek black uh, um, uh, chrome, not uh, chrome, sorry, uh, high gloss black material just on the top with that chrome right here and uh, the push. So you just push it and nice resistance so it doesn't feel cheap. And then uh, moving on here, we got our cup holders. Um, pretty straightforward. Another little bit of storage right here with a USB and USB-C port. Tons of those in this vehicle. We got a 12 volt DC plug-in as well right there. A uh, little bit of storage and you can actually close that up just like that as well and then i think it's like a magnet so let's see if i uh-oh there we go a little bit of resistance doesn't want to make uh anything fly out so i guess it holds it a little bit uh a little stronger um got our uh rear view camera right here or uh rear view mirror sorry right here we got the inside cabin uh, mirror so you can see the entire uh, cabin just like that if you don't want to use the ca uh, camera one you can use that um, we also have uh, a storage for your uh, sunglasses and then the uh, door controls just right here it's gonna open up this door and we will get to these uh, in a minute but we'll just show you just opens up just like that very simple very straightforward we'll close that and leave the other one open uh, we do have the full panoramic sunroof uh, in this vehicle, which is absolutely gorgeous, especially in the summer when you're on the, those road trips with your family or whatever it may be. Just adds a little more uh, to the experience. Uh, we can open that up just like this. And then it opens up just like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day today in North Vancouver. So we're going to leave that open and have a little bit of extra airflow. All right, let's... Uh, Let's move on into the uh, the rest of the uh, cabin. We've pretty much covered a lot of the uh, the front here. Um, like I said, just an absolute uh, very luxurious vehicle, and uh, I've enjoyed driving it, and um, I, I enjoy doing a review on it for you guys. And uh, like I've said in other videos, I'm not an expert at um, at cars. I, there's so many talented uh, ladies and gentlemen out there that are in the internet space that are so talented at uh, their knowledge with vehicles. And uh, I'm kind of just coming from a uh, you know first person, uh, first impression kind of review. Just uh, want to give the most honest review to a lot of people out there who also aren't um, as educated about cars as I am and uh, we'll all learn together as we go and I appreciate all your guys's comments and feedbacks and helping uh, me make these videos um, so I appreciate that don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below I appreciate all of that stuff but uh, let's keep the video rolling here we're gonna move on into the back just a beautiful view into the uh, in the front cabin here where the driver and passenger seats are. We've got the leather seats right here, heated and ventilated with the uh, S on the seat. So you know this is the S package. Uh, absolutely comfortable seats, very luxurious seats. I felt very comfortable driving this uh, and they kind of tuck you in there nice. We've got the controls for the seats just right here. Uh, we've got our floor mats. That opens up the hood. We'll get to that in a bit. This you can adjust the steering wheel with. Uh, pretty straightforward. We've got a ton of storage underneath uh the uh center console here i'm not too sure what you'd put down here but uh it's a ton of storage that's for sure brake park uh we've got our floor mats right here and a little uh, place to put your uh umbrella as well but yeah not bad one touch doors so you can actually just touch it like that and the door will close itself just like that i love that a lot and just a nice beautiful look onto this uh diamond black on the uh on the body here we'll move my camera stuff out the way amazing first look on into the uh, back of the cabin here absolutely gorgeous seats very comfortable just such a luxurious vehicle look at the amount of space and uh, openness that is in this vehicle uh you can open this up here too and that opens up into the uh, the back of the vehicle here and we'll get back there in a moment we'll put this back down we'll hop in here to have our first look 
at our 10 inch screens behind the driver and passenger seat right here so clear very uh you know responsive um you can uh, actually you have hdmi uh, plug in right here so you can hook up your computer your xbox whatever it may be your playstation you got a aux plug in as well as a usb uh, c plug in uh, so tons of options a little bit of storage behind the seats you can close the door just with that little button right there beautiful we've got our heated seats in the uh, second row here you just click the button here on the door so these uh second row seats are also heated which is absolutely sick and uh, i like that a lot it, this is such a luxurious comfortable vehicle like it really has a lot of space it's absolutely sleek very well designed the screens behind the the seats are absolutely gorgeous very high quality you can close these just like that have it hidden if you uh you don't want to mess around with them and uh, keep them safe put them down pull them back up we've got our shade covers right here as well oh sorry the gopro and the audience out there just got smacked in the face uh that was the uh the vent that smacked you so get mad at the vent um shades right here to uh to hide you and give you a little more privacy um i like it a lot you can actually just open the door with that one touch right there as well pretty cool move on into the uh the back here if anybody knows what this is comment down below now because this is going to blow your mind when i show you what it is but uh let's uh, let's keep moving on to the uh the back here we'll get this uh headrest i guess it doesn't go up anymore but we'll sit back here see how it is it's pretty comfortable seats are very comfortable i mean you're in the third row it's uh kind of kind of cool like you're in a little bit of a private uh sprinter van but obviously this is uh, a pacifica but um <laughs> uh, we've got our uh our oh we even have visors back here so you can close them up just like that which is awesome lots of privacy and luxury in this vehicle we've got these nice cool little tags i'll show you when i get out that uh you can use to open up the vehicle i just thought that was really cool that they added in there we've got a usb and USB C port over here um speakers cup holders storage all that jazz amazing look on into the uh, front of the cabin here just absolutely gorgeous I, lo I love this vehicle a lot honestly for 55 to 65k you can't go wrong uh canadian dollars you can't go wrong with uh, uh the specifica like it, it honestly is just 10 out of 10 um probably realistically 8 9 out of 10 uh, but there's not too many flaws i think it's built very well i think it's very luxurious and uh, modern and i think it fits all the needs that you'd want and uh, it also makes driving a minivan fun so can't go wrong with that we'll close that just like that move on into the uh the back here one touch opens up the uh the trunk just like that and uh so a little bit of trunk space here you can obviously put down this uh third row just with the buttons right here uh for second row and third row you can put them all down uh the button to close the thing but the one thing that really impressed me about this vehicle that i had no idea about until i actually just got it in person in my hands to review and go over and drive this vehicle has a vacuum built in it this is insane like i want to show you guys that there is a vacuum so if you open up this right here a little bit of a little clip there this is your vacuum plug in your brush everything comes in here in the kit and remember when i said i wonder if some of you guys know what that button was well if you press this you now have a vacuum inside of your vehicle and you can clean right after the beach whatever just like that how cool is that? Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. I am a very big fan of Chrysler for making that as an option. Maybe I've, uh, I'm just a little bit of a uh, newbie and didn't know that before, but that is so cool. You even have the extension uh, right here. So if you want to run it longer throughout the vehicle, you can. And I think that's just such a cool uh, feature to add. You can get the kids cleaning the car while you're driving and uh, then you'll never be dirty. <laughs> uh, we'll clip this back in just like that and that is the uh, the trunk we'll close this 
got our got our gorgeous limited right here in like a matte gray just on the back um transfers over here to the pacifica and then like matte gray black and then uh, we got our s right here in black to let you know this is the s package black on black and uh, all the other features we got our uh, foundation uh, uh, uh license plate cover right here shout out foundation auto north vancouver and squamish uh for providing this vehicle today for this video and allowing us to build this channel we got our chrysler right here in black with the chrome in the middle and these gorgeous tail lights that run all the way through the uh, vehicle almost like a dodge durango and uh, those vehicles just absolutely gorgeous they're so rich in color in the daylight too just stands out so well that red just flowing all the way across i think it's absolutely gorgeous and just taking a look at this vehicle i mean this is such a sexy looking minivan it's so uh sleek it's so um luxurious like in my opinion it's just it's up there with one of the best like it's it fits all the needs that i would ever want and uh, i think it just looks absolutely clean and absolutely sleek and i know i keep saying that but it's just like i'm very impressed with this vehicle i'm very very impressed with this vehicle the the black rims and all the black accents all throughout the vehicle i think it's just absolutely stellar it's spot on the headlights are absolutely gorgeous like these headlights are absolutely gorgeous the leds running through it like that in the pacifica just it's so clean the leds stand out so well and they just they look so gorgeous and at night i've seen pictures this looks very sleek i love the whole front end of this car a lot of the uh the diamond black uh paint and uh just keeping everything very like it, uh, what's the word uh consistent throughout the vehicle there's not a lot of plastic on the front bumper a lot of it like uh there's not a lot of like the cheap plastic like this is all like body and i love that a lot i think it's just very clean the lot a lot of gloss and i think it stands out well with like the the uh the black um grills here we've got our uh, front camera right there and chrysler and then the bottom uh as well and i just i think it looks absolutely sleek the design of the hood and the body shape it all just flows so well together just absolutely gorgeous looking vehicle comment down with comment down below what you guys think moving on to that thing i was telling you about these like tags stow and go it's kind of like that vac and go whatever it's called but uh you can just pull this and it lets down the seat i just thought that was really cool like a little uh, strap like that it's kind of like lamborghini with the door straps uh i thought that was really sleek we're gonna open up this right here take a look at the engine bay So we got a 3.6 liter V6 engine, 285 horsepower. Um, honestly, it has a lot of giddy up. It has a lot of uh, acceleration and it feels very uh, good on the road. It, it drove like it has a little bit of power under the hood and um, that's always uh, a positive when you're getting a, a minivan. So um, I like that a lot, very simple. Your engine bay right here, put together well, uh, all that good stuff. We'll close this up. And yeah, I hope you guys stay to, through all the way to the end of this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment down below what you thought of this video and what you thought of this uh, 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Limited S package. And I uh, appreciate all your guys' feedback and help on building this channel. Keep leaving those likes and comments down below. I see them all and I'm very grateful and thankful. And uh, well, I hope you guys have an amazing day and stay safe and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.